Oh, I see it's running. And it wasn't running before. But, as I said, that's the flag in front of my house. And we'll also dedicate this pilot to America. And oh, hey everybody. Listen, this is Jesus 2.3 again. And, uh, I don't know what you think of me. Uh, whether I'm a devil, or an angel, or a messenger from God, or just some smart enough, some dick, somebody with big balls. I don't know what you see. That's the dogs outside. I kept them outside. I wanted to keep this a short one today. Uh, but to be honest with you, everything is conspired. You might say that things have unfolded today. Right now, when I unfolded the paper, remember we've been doing some people things with the paper and my T-shirt. Let's start with the T-shirt real quick. You can see this is a sun. I'm Jesus 2.3. I'm a son also. I'm a father too. And I have a father. He's heavenly to me, but he's a grumpy old man. He knows a thing about destiny and her child. Now this is all true. I wouldn't lie to you. You just have to figure it out for yourself. Anyway, this son is a different sun. It looks like the sun in the sky, but if you look real closely, it's got pot leaves all around it. Because when you're high, it makes you feel sunny. This is a t-shirt from Barney's in Amsterdam. If you look from Google, you'll see Amsterdam almost looks like a galaxy or a universe. Maybe that's why it's so hip city, you know, everything happens there. Anyway, Keep going. Barney, when you think of Barney, you think of Barney Rubble. A dinosaur. If you remember my last video, dinosaurs, cavemen, all goes together. Just remember, the scientists tell us that there's a bet of Neanderthal in everybody except the black man. He's the purest one of all. Maybe that's why I have three wise men in my life who are all black. They're not black as coal, but I'm a coal cracker because I live in Hazleton. And that's what made the city famous. Don't forget about Harvey Guy Stadium either, though. Google that. That will be a C. Anyway, we keep going. Okay, uh, newspapers, Hazleton Standard Speaker again, because that's the one I get. I do read, some, read the morning call, and I've sent them some letters. They're near Bethlehem. And uh, they won't print my letters. It seems they're holding back on letting me tell the truth down there. Oh well, maybe you think I'm just a fool on the hill. In reality, I'm not. I wanted to tell you two things in here, and then uh, maybe we'll stop. And that'll be it, I'm trying to keep it short. Today's uh, August uh, 9th, 2010, after Sunday. Remember Sunday? We talked about the comics. That was last night. Ah, I slept well. I hope you did too. But I can't change that. That's the way helping change works. Oh, Dilbert. Dilbert. Now, I want to tell you, I don't know if Dilbert is actually the deliberate hand of God or just my dumb luck. Here it is. Today, I need you to work on a highly confidential project. Well, my project's not confidential. My project is telling you the truth. What's confidential is whether you understand it or not, because that's inside of you. Ah, now, next panel. When you're done, I want you to dig your own shallow grave and beat yourself to death with a shovel. I don't give a shit what you do when you're done. Just remember, there's a judgment day. I'll wait for that day to be judged. You see, in real life, my name is Daniel. And that means God is my judge. Oh, Daniel's a prophet. Jesus, too. Whew. Think of that. Okay. Oh, death. This guy's talking about death. Listen, my whole life, and you can ask my father this, because he knows the truth, I've said, do what you want with my body. Give the parts away as a gift. Whatever's left, just feed the dogs. 
What do I care? I'll be dead. And I'm just trying to live my life the best way I can. 